Hello and welcome back to Nature Space with Hay Spites. I'm Angela and I'm Charlotte and today we're talking about something that happens a lot in spring and summer, finding a baby bird on the ground. It's one of those heart-wrenching moments when, well, your heart just melts but you also start panicking a little bit. And what do you do? Do you pick it up or do you leave it? Exactly. A lot of people think that if a baby bird is on the ground it must be in trouble but that's not always the case. Uh, well, let's start with a big question. Can baby birds survive first without their mother? The answer really depends on how old the bird is. Uh, there are three main stages of baby birds you might come across. So, firstly, we have the hatchlings. These are the tiniest ones, fresh out of the egg. They're completely bald, eyes closed. If you see one of these on the ground, it absolutely needs your help because it can't survive on its own. I know, it's really sad. Yeah. <laughs> and then there are nestlings. While they're still small, uh, they might have a few little tufts of feathers. They can't fly and shouldn't be out of the nest. If you find one, it likely needs to go back. And finally, we have the fledglings. These are the ones people worry about the most because actually they're usually fine. They've got feathers, they can hop around and they're learning to fly. It's normal for them to spend time on the ground. And uh, to be honest, the parents are usually close by watching them, even if you can't see them. Uh, now, if you do come across a nestling, it does need a bit of help. Uh, the first thing to do is check for injuries. If it's bleeding, has a drooping wing or seems too weak to move, you need to call a wildlife rescue centre. But if it looks healthy, the next step is to find its nest. If you can. Yeah, if you can. <laughs> You'll do some good searching. Yeah. <laughs> People often think that once a baby bird has fallen out, that that's it. But if you can spot the nest nearby, you can gently pick up the bird and just place it back inside. And uh, no, touching it won't make the parents reject it. That is a total myth. Which is a crazy myth, because I was brought up to believe I know. that. I yeah, think so many same. people do. Yeah, same. So, what if the nest is destroyed? What do we do then, or we can't Ooh, reach it? That's a really good question. Uh, in that case, you can make a temporary nest. Just get a small container, like a little basket, or even a plastic tub, but just make sure there's holes in it for drainage. Line it with soft material like dried grass or tissues and place it securely in a tree or bush near where to the, the baby was found and then just step back and wait. How long should we wait? Well, I would wait for at least an hour. The parents will usually come back once they feel it's safe. If they don't, then it might be time to call your nearest wildlife rescue centre. Okay, that's really good to know. So let's talk about fledglings. These little guys can cause a lot of worry, but most of the time they don't actually need help. Exactly, yeah. If you see a fully feathered young bird hopping around your garden or just trying to make its first short flights, it's just learning, to be honest. And until it's in immediate danger, like in the middle of a road, it, you should just leave it be. Okay, so if it is in danger, you can move it somewhere safer, right? Uh, yeah, just a short distance, like under a bush, so its parents can still find it. Uh, but if you have any outdoor pets, just try to keep them inside for a little while. So, to recap, when should someone step in and call a professional? Well, you should contact a wildlife rescue centre if uh, the baby bird is injured or bleeding. If it's a hatchling or nestling and there's no way to return it to the nest, the parents haven't returned after at least two hours, or if the bird looks weak, cold or unresponsive. So, and, there's so many myths about baby birds, aren't there? Absolutely, and the biggest one I find is that touching a baby bird will make the parents reject it. That's just not true. Uh, to be honest, birds have a poor sense of smell, so they won't abandon their chicks if a human has handled them. Which is just crazy, because that's what you're all brought up to believe. Maybe it's yeah. to scare kids away from touching well, them, because that's what my yeah. mum told me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I didn't realise as well, another one I hear a lot is, if I find a baby bird, I should take it home and raise it myself. I mean, I'd love to do that with a pigeon, but I don't I know. think it would work. And I do admit to doing that once when I was a kid. <laughs> Um, but no, it is illegal in many places to keep wild birds, but they need a um, very specific diet, you see, and it is hard to get that care right. Um, it's always better to return them to the parents or get professional help. 
Okay, and another one. If a baby bird is on the ground, it must be abandoned. Is that right? No, no, we've just spoken about that. Yeah, it's uh, if it's a fledging, it's just learning to fly. And mum and dad are probably close by just keeping an eye on things. So basically, uh, what's the lesson learned here then, Charlotte, do you think? Well, that not all baby birds on the ground need rescuing. Absolutely. If it's a hatchling or a nestling, just try to return it to the nest or call for help. But if it's a fledgling, unless it's in danger, the best thing you can do is just step back and let nature do its thing. And if you're ever unsure, contact a wildlife expert. They'll be able to give the best advice you need. Yeah, absolutely. Every bird matters. But sometimes the best way to help it is just to leave them be. That's all for today's episode of Nature Space with Hay Sprites. If you find this helpful, don't forget to share it with your fellow nature lovers. And if you've ever helped a baby bird, we'd love to hear your story. Get in touch on our social media. Until next time, take care and keep enjoying nature.